Talk us through that, man, because, uh, you know, it didn't start out perfect, but it ended perfect for you. Yeah, it didn't end. It didn't start the way I expected at all. But um, like me and my mind coach said, adversity and game plans and what can you do when it doesn't go your way? And I said, keep calm and, you know, get back to work. And um, yeah, the groundwork didn't work for me. That's what usually is my bread and butter. But today it was the hands. I'm not, I'm not mad about that at all. So... Obviously, wanted to get that revenge back because we're one apiece now. But yeah, um, I think that's probably the best way for myself to get you know a little bit of vengeance back. You talked about like sort of the the, the mental side of things. So when you, when you're in there and things aren't going your way, is there anything different about you now where you, where you tell yourself, "All right, not a big deal. Stay calm. Ride this out for a second. And when we g- when we get back up, we know what we got to do." One hundred percent. If this was me, maybe even like six, ten fights ago. I would have panicked, you know. Um, as soon as we got back to our feet, I would have done some stupid stuff and probably tried to take him down. Where um, I just composed myself, went back to my hands, and it was funny, as I threw, I didn't even know I'd hurt him until, I'm, I think I had my head down. And then when I looked up, he was on the floor. So then I went, obviously, to the ground and then ended up getting, I think, mount. I said I wouldn't do mount, didn't I? But, <laughs> you know, when 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 someone's in trouble... You know, I think all that goes out the window and then landed some elbows and got the KO. All these things combined, the fact that it was that it was a rematch, that you yeah. needed to get one back on him, the way that, that you were able to finish and kind of rally to do it, um, the fact that it's five in a row now, the fact that you can pretty much say title shot, guys. It's one thousand percent. Sorry, one all those things combined, is it is this the biggest win of your of your career? You know what? I'm gonna say yes. One, because the way I did it. And two, it was a very like special fight, should I say, because it was number one contender and it was a rematch. So I had them two things on my mind. But to be honest, it wasn't that that was playing my mind. It's just like, can I, I can't lose again to him, you know, because I'm 39 now. So it's not like I can, you know, pretty much I'll get him next time. You know, I'd probably be like, you know, I won't get you next time and I won't fight for the belt. Um, so yeah, it was just, I think, the ice on the cake to, Get the get the win, and the win the way I did as well. You're uh, but you're a heavyweight, thirty nine, which is like a thirty two for everybody else. It seems yes. like in MMA, it really does, is. Does that give you a lot of um, comfort? I mean, forty is the number that people like me start asking guys like you. <laughs> hey, man, are you thinking about hanging it up? So yeah. I mean, you're pushing forty, but but you're yeah. a heavyweight. You could probably do this for ten. Yeah, minutes. and no lie, I think when I was like heavyweight, cutting that weight was brutal. I don't have to cut any weight now, so injuries are less. Um, it's less stressful. What fight week? You know, you haven't got to do all these interviews while you're cutting weight and not eating. So, yeah, I really do feel like I've got, you know, another couple of more years. I won't do it forever, but you know, win that belt. That's that's the plan, and defend it a couple of times, and then you know, I can hang up my boots, hang up my gloves, and go on my merry way. Obviously, you know that that's the fight that you want next. Is there a kind of a time period with which you want it? I mean, is it is it in late summer is it pushing toward fall or, or winter i mean how much time do you want to have off before you get another crack at him well i'd like to have a holiday go back to england as i said i turned 40 this year i want to go on holiday and celebrate that as well um so yeah maybe maybe fall maybe maybe christmas well not christmas obviously i'd like to celebrate christmas but yeah at least fall at least you know um yeah What's up, Big Form? Congrats on the win. Respect, man. Um, saw your shirt. Pretty cool slogan. Thank Did you. you foreshadow maybe a TKO happening? Yes, it was crazy. I had, um, I had a little nap um, this morning or this afternoon. Just fell asleep watching TV. And I actually had like a little premonition dream of me dropping him and then ground and pounding him. It wasn't, I don't even know when it was happened first, second round, whatever. Um, so yeah, it sort of happened, man. So you know, I can't, I can't complain with that, with that big win. And you've spoken about getting a mind coach. What would you say is the biggest thing you've learned about yourself during this time? Um, that just because you lose, it's not the end of all. You know, um, it's what you do from the loss. You know, you can, you can go home and cry and, you know, give it all up, or you can fix those mistakes and then come back and win five in a row like I have just done. You know, um, I really didn't think. 
from and again it was when I fought Modoski last time that's when I wanted to retire I was like I'm done and that was a three round fight so it was very brutal on me and um yeah I wanted to hang up the boots hang up the gloves and my mind coach is like now nah, you know you, you can come back from this and I have and biggest win of your career I have to ask how are we celebrating lad <laughs> Nando's I have to go back to England for Nando's so I'm not gonna wait that long um I don't know. We'll see what happens, you know, just take it as it is. You know, I'm pretty boring when it comes to celebrating for my fights. I'd rather celebrate my birthday. Um, so we'll see what happens. No worries, thank you. Thank you, guys.